So a few days ago I bought this neat little gadget called the Charger Doctor. So what this thing does is it measures the uh, voltage and the uh, current draw from the USB power bank or a wall charger which I will show you in just a moment. So it's got a four digit seven segment display uh, USB in where you plug this thing into a wall charger or a power bank and a standard USB out uh, where you can plug in your regular a uh, micro USB cable to charge your phone or a tablet or even a power bank. And yeah, this thing comes in really handy if you want to check whether the rated current output of the power bank is really the real uh, rated current output or not. Uh, same thing you can do with the wall charger. So let me just plug this in. So, so you can see once I plugged in the 7 segment display lights up. Yeah, it's an LED display. You can see it in the dark. Uh, currently it's showing 0 amps because nothing is plugged in and the power bank is outputting 5 volts 5 volts here we go and currently the power bank is charged to up to uh, up to 50 percent so let me just plug in my phone over here so yeah regular micro USB cable you can plug it in Now I'm going to plug my phone, which is around 86% charged. And I really want you guys to see the uh, current draw of this thing. So it's drawing around 1 amps, slowly climbing, and the voltage has dipped slightly. So yeah, the phone is drawing around about 1 amp. four point nine volts so let's test the same with uh, my tablet so we're gonna use this and see how much current this thing draws so yeah as I unplugged it you can see the amp ampere meter has dropped to zero plug this thing in 1.44 amps 1.4 at 4.86 volts so yeah this can actually be worked out on a so the current is DC enter the amps the amps is let's check it again 1.41 amps 1.41 and we are getting a voltage of around 4.87 so it works around up to 6.8 watts so this thing is outputting around 6.8 watts and now let's check the same with a 2 amp wall charger so I have it plugged in into the 2 amp wall charger and now I'm gonna plug the tablet in So I'm gonna. It's currently drawing 1.7 amps. 1. Point, it goes up to 1.8, and let me just increase the brightness to 100%. Yeah, this thing is a lot more stable than the power bank. You can see it's drawing. A, it's outputting a constant voltage of 5 volts. 5.25 volts. and it's outputting around 1.85 amps so let's take it as 1.8 so 5.25 volts and 1.80 amps so that works on around around to 9.45 watts which is good so let's try this with the phone now So you can see even the phone is drawing a lot more current than it was on the power bank.
and the power bank is around 50% charged. Yeah, interestingly this thing is indeed rated for 2 amp output but yeah it's not really outputting that much current which is slightly disappointing. Output 5 volts 2 amps but yeah. So I drained the power bank a little bit more. You can see only one LED is going but yeah currently it's charging and it draws around 1.67 so 1.7 amps yeah this thing is rated for 2 amps but 2 amps input and output but really I'd say this thing is around 1.7 amps output at 5 volts but yeah you get the idea so yeah this thing is really cool and it's really handy to carry around so I'm gonna just turn this thing off unplug it And yeah, oh by the way, you can do the same thing with your computer's USB port. Is it charging? Yeah, the power bank is indeed charging and it's around, outputting around 1 amp of uh, current. Not bad. But yeah, it'll take forever to charge this thing because this is indeed a 13,000 milliamp hour battery. So let's see how much current this little uh, Xiaomi LED USB LED light draws. So this one is rated for about 1 watt. So let's see how close this thing is to that uh, number. There we go. Ooh, it's pretty bright. So it's drawing about 0 0.24 amps at uh, 5 volts. Yeah, at 5 volts, 0 0.25 amps. Uh, 5 volts, 0 0.25, and the voltage is 5 volts. So yeah, 1.25 watts. Uh, pretty close to that 1 watt number. So yeah, pretty cool. You can check the uh, current draws of different USB uh, gadgets. So thank you guys for watching and do stay tuned for more videos like these. Uh, I might stray a little bit from my regular videos to do this sort of videos because yeah I like gadgets like this. I've got a few LEDs for uh, different projects. I might replace the LED in here and in here. The one which was in here stopped working. So yeah see you guys later.